a few years ago, um, during the Clinton administration, um, I had uh, uh, the joy, actually, of working with the Department of Ed- Education. Secretary Riley was there at the time. I love w- him. Wonderful guy. <laughs> he wonderful. is a wonderful Former guy. Former governor of South Carolina. Uh, and his big thing was the arts in mm-hmm. education. And uh, so I emceed Cut. several pro- c- programs around the country. <laughs> And, I mean, he was just passionate about yeah. that, what value they brought to the kids in so many dimensions. I was going to say, where are they now? Where well, and, and, and the arts program exist. is one of the ones that was cut. Now, remember, I don't ever want Congress to be our federal school you know, a board. that That's ridiculous. The The Department of Education was um, actually became a cabinet position under Jimmy Carter. So it's not all mm. that that long a history. But even under it, it started out uh, as a just a department when um, President Johnson said, we're looking at discrimination. We're looking at racism. We're looking at kids that are treated radically different in their access and opportunity to education programs. We are going to help. We're, the federal government is going to come and help. Uh, we can't um, completely um, eliminate uh, the disparities, but we're going to help those children who live in poverty, who have disabilities, who have challenges, and we can help. And uh, But one of the things that they said, but we can insist because it is the law mm. that children are not discriminated against. So when you have not just the, uh, the programs that were actually helping to lift up some kids that didn't have access to the arts programs, to after-school programs, they cut Special Olympics, they cut Head Start, they cut things that were um, absolutely helping children. And, and haven't there been, I mean, there have been a lot of studies at Head Start. I mean, kids who go through a Head Start program do so much better. They, than- they do. And, you know, there's, uh, you, you can read a lot of uh, different statistics. Uh, and, and some folks will say, well, we followed some of these kids in Head Start. And they were really, you know, they had caught up as, uh, you know, kindergarten, first grade third graders. Uh, After you put them then in overcrowded classrooms with underfunded programs for, you know, five or six or seven years, and they're going, oh, and look, all the benefits disappeared. No, no, no. We know what works. We know that when children are surrounded by talented people who care about their lives and want school to be interesting and want to open those little minds to, to being curious, about you know asking good questions you got a jelly bean in my class for a good answer you got two jelly beans for a good question and you know so you you get those kids that are going i get it i'm excited i want to know more i want to read another book um we've moved out of this test and punish no child left untested era of you know uh, uh, horrible things um uh, going on with kids uh, you know that all they need is to get two more points on a standardized test. Um, And we look at those things like after-school programs and the arts programs and the science programs. Um, And those are the things that got on the chopping block. Oh, wow. 